In this video series, we will go through the basic procedures for drawing a simple wall layout in Vertex BD for cold form steel framing. We will start by creating a new project by going to the Vertex File menu, select New Project. In the Project ID field, we define a folder name for our project. I will call this project folder Demo1. The Name field allows us to give a more descriptive name. I will describe this project as Demonstration 1. The Based On field is the name of the template project that we're going to copy. For this example, our project will be based on Template-ZL project. Then click OK. The project data form then appears. The four-page project data form allows us to enter, if we choose, additional information about the project, such as customer and building information. Some of this information will be automatically carried over into the outputs of drawing sheet title blocks and material reports. And output sheet title block information can be managed from the links at the lower portion of the project data page. These links will be visited in another tutorial. It is not imperative to fill out all the information on all four pages of the project data form. Access and modifications to the project data form can be made at any time while the project is loaded. Click OK on the project data form and we are taken into a 2D and a 3D window. By default, when a project is loaded, we are automatically taken into the first level wall layout drawing model pair, as illustrated in the title bars of the current 2D and 3D windows. The F2 key toggles between the two windows. We also see an additional management window at the left side of the screen. The management window at the left has tabs at the bottom for switching between a modeling browser tree and a project document browser tree. In the project document browser, we can easily select different drawings or models within the project, such as the architectural layouts, the structural framing layouts, the drawing sheets, and other views and material reports that are connected to this project. At the top of the project document browser is the settings branch. At the beginning of every new project, there are three primary setup requirements that should be made from within the settings branch. Right-clicking the settings branch opens up a submenu. It is within this submenu that we will be able to define the number of levels, drawing model pairs needed for our building, the wall heights for each level, and some additional default project parameter values. Before we do that, I will need to explain what a drawing model pair is. VertexBD uses drawing model pair concept for activating where we will be locating the various parts of the building, as well as their respective 3D models. Pressing the F4 key opens the drawing model pair window and allows us not only to see the project's drawing model pair configuration, but to load a desired drawing model pair. This current drawing model pair configuration is based on our template project. This drawing model pair window shows a configuration for wall layout, wall framing, ceiling layout, ceiling framing, deck layout, deck framing, and for a building with three levels, and a foundation and a roof. So the first thing we need to do in setting up a new project is to set the number of levels and respective drawing model pairs needed for the project. This is done in the settings branch of the project document browser. Right click the settings branch and choose select active drawing model pairs. This gives us a list of all the available pairs we have in the template project and the checked ones are the ones that are currently active. So, for example, if we need a fourth and a fifth level for this project, we can simply check all those drawing model pairs associated with those two levels. Then click OK. Secondly, we need to set up the wall heights and floor thicknesses of each level. Right click the settings branch, and for our template ZL based project, we choose Edit 3D Levels. This interface allows us to adjust the wall heights as well as the floor to floor heights for each level in the building. We can use the mouse wheel 
to zoom in and out of this preview window. This preview window gives us dimensions for the wall heights of each level as well as the floor to floor heights. The easiest way to make a change here is to just double click on the dimension that you want to change. So for example, if I want to change the wall height of the first level walls from 10 feet to 9 feet, I double click on the dimension and enter in a new value of 9 feet. As soon as I click OK, the preview picture updates with the new 9 foot wall height and lowers the rest of the building above by one foot. If you need to adjust the floor thickness, you can select whether you want to fix your floor to floor height so that the wall height changes, or fix the wall height or room height so that the floor to floor height changes with respect to the combined floor thickness and wall height. So, if we want to keep a 9 foot wall height fixed, I will change this radio button to fix room height. Then I will select a different floor system and adjust the thickness of the floor system. So if I would like to change my second level floor system from a 10 inch frame system to a 12 inch thick frame system, left click floor system field, then right click and choose select floor or ceiling. A library of floor systems to choose from appears and I can change this to a 12 inch frame floor system. That change then pushes the rest of the building up by two inches while maintaining the fixed nine foot wall height on the first level. So we can continue setting up the heights for the rest of the building either by changing the floor to floor heights or by changing the wall heights and then adjusting the floor system thicknesses as needed. So since this project has been set up for five levels, we need only to set up the preview picture heights for five levels. And when we're done, we click OK. The next thing to do before we start drawing is to check the default project parameter values. To access project parameters, right click the settings branch, then select Edit Project Parameters. The project parameters interface shows default values for each level based on the framing rules as well as some architectural values. Most of the architectural values are based on the Z-level values that we just updated. The grayed out values are not editable through this interface. However, the default top of window rough opening height can be set here on a floor by floor basis. Each framing set contains rules on how we can break up the walls into wall panels, default framing details used for wall corners and T-intersections, and controls for your stud spacing. You can select the default details by selecting the appropriate row, and then zoom into the preview picture by rolling your mouse wheel and clicking on the diamond next to the detail you want to use. So, for example, if we want to select the two offset studs, 2BB type detail at T-intersections, just click the diamond and you'll see the 2BB value be the default intersecting backer to be used for exterior bearing walls. Likewise, the details for exterior corners and interior corners can be set the same way. I'll zoom in and select the stud detail for the exterior corners and the stud detail for the interior corners. Also notice that across the bottom are tabs for various wall types. We have exterior bearing, exterior non-bearing, interior bearing, and interior non-bearing wall types. So you can adjust these framing rules on a wall type by wall type basis for each level. We can also supersede these rules on a wall by wall basis, which we will get to later on in this video series. When done setting up the level specific parameters, Click OK to close the project parameters interface. At this point, be sure to save the project by either using the Control S key combination or from the File menu Save Project command. When the project is saved, you will notice that the project drawing model pair configuration has been updated to accommodate our five level project. This can be seen in the Project Document Browser. Drawing model pair configuration, 
and also you've seen the next time press the F4 key.